Well, today some lawmakers in Salem are vowing to make changes to the way sex offenders are paroled after serving their time in prison. They joined victims of Richard Gilmore, Portland's jogger rapist, to introduce a bill that mandates notifications in some cases if a violent sex offender is moved into a neighborhood. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas has more. Senate Bill 1022 aims to reform how sex offenders are classified in Oregon after their release from prison. This comes after victims of Richard Gilmore were outraged after his release back in December. Richard Gilmore spent 36 years behind bars after he was convicted in 1987 of raping Tiffany Edens. Gilmore admitted to raping at least eight other girls and women in the Portland area, but didn't face charges because of the statute of limitations. And when he was released in December, he was only classified as a low-level sex offender, meaning officials aren't required to let neighbors know if Gilmore is living near them. Survivors Tiffany Edens and Danielle Tudor pushing for this bill today in Salem. The parole board Board and the system is taking a major risk and I'm telling you he will kill the next victim. A key part of the bill would require the state parole board to take more details into account of a convicted sex offender's history. This includes crimes they admitted to committing that they weren't prosecuted for. Gilmore's victims say a more strict law would have made Gilmore classified as a more serious sex offender, meaning officials would be required to notify more people if he was in the area. And all I am asking for in this bill is that there is some cohesiveness to who is a victim when it concerns the, the parole board all the way through uh, their risk level assessment for sex offenders. The bill also will give victims the opportunity to appeal what level sex offender their perpetrator is classified as after they get out of prison. For Gilmore's victims, having their voice heard in this process would give them a better peace of mind. The parole board needs to be doing that because they're dealing with people that are very dangerous and can cause harm. Now, this bill was introduced by a group of Republican lawmakers. I reached out to Senate Democratic leadership to hear their thoughts on the bill, and I haven't heard a response yet. Republican lawmakers are hopeful this legislation will get a hearing. In Salem, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.